Hi, my name is Dr. Julia Davids and I'm the Director of Choral Activities at North Park University in Chicago. But of course today I'm coming to you from my home as I'm practicing social distancing with everybody else. Now social distancing can be really difficult for those of us who are singers. We especially miss our choral communities and the people that we get to sing with and sing for. But we know that singing has wonderful benefits physically and mentally as well as we want to stay in great vocal shape and in great vocal health. So today I'm going to offer a few suggestions that are basics for healthy singing. We'll do a little vocal technique and warm up session together. All of these um, practices come from a book that I've co-authored called Vocal Technique, A Guide to Classical and Contemporary Styles for Conductors, Teachers, and Singers. So let's get started. First thing we want to remember is to do some stretching, especially because most of us aren't getting as much physical activity as we normally do. So pay attention to your body alignment. If you're stiff anywhere, make sure you're stretching that, but double check that you're lined up from top to bottom. We don't want to be rigid, but we do want to be comfortably tall in our posture. Take some nice, low, relaxed breaths. Inhale and exhale. And a reminder, we want to open here at our glottis or our throat as well. And we want to feel a sense of down and out. So expanding while we're breathing. Our rib cage should expand and our diaphragm is going to contract to allow that breath to flow into our lungs. So nice breath in, open and inhale and exhale. Good, one more. Let's make sure that this one is silent, so no tension. Inhale, and exhale. Great, this time we're going to inhale, and we'll do an S as we exhale, so you can really feel your abdominal muscles working at, uh, regulating how fast and slow our air is coming out. Nice inhalation. Excellent. So I'm going to move through these steps fairly quickly, but if you feel like you need a little longer to stretch or you want to do a few more inhale exhales or add in another exercise for breathing, feel free to just pause this and go ahead and do that. We're going to move into some vocalizing exercises now. Same thing, if you would like to go higher or lower or spend more time on a certain exercise, feel free to do that. So one of my most important pieces of equipment when I'm keeping my voice healthy and fresh is my straw. Now you can use any sort of straw, just like a soda straw that you might have lying around the house. I have um, a little sort of coffee stir stick straw. Uh, they're uh, more useful if they're slightly narrow, but really any kind of straw will work. And we're going to vocalize through this straw. So just go ahead and exhale with some sound through your straw. Now straws are great. It's an example of a semi-occluded vocal tract exercise. But if you don't have one around or you're not comfortable using one, you could do an M hum, mm -hmm. or you could use a V, mm -hmm. or a mm -hmm. There are lots of different semi-occluded vocal tract exercises, but they all help us sing more efficiently. And that's what they're great for. So using your straw or or mm or lip trill or tongue trill, we're going to do some small slides, just starting here on And if you have a changed voice, tenors or basses, feel free to take this down the octave. Next one and And you 
want to focus on taking a relaxed, low breath, but not over breathing. We don't want to stuff ourselves with air. And we also want to make sure we have no breath escaping through the nose. So lifting our soft palate to close the nasal passages. Let's do a few more of those. Starting here and Great, it's excellent to substitute S-O-V-T-E's or your straw or your vroom at any point in your warm up. Just toss some of those in. Next thing we're gonna do is just easily, easily move into our lower register. So let's just start here and we'll do So now we're going to work on our vowels a little bit. Reminder that we want the tip of the tongue at the base of the lower front teeth for all of our vowels. And you can play with these vowels. You can use a more contemporary sound if you like, or a more classical sound. Feel free to experiment. We're going to go here on E. Tenors and basses down the octave. E A A, and we go. So we're thinking about the way we're starting the sound now. We'll just go here on E. to spend some time in the lower range as well as your upper range. So we'll start in the middle. 
just on an oval and we'll do some slides. So a reminder to support your sound with good breath energy using those ab muscles and to keep this as tension free as you can. A nice relaxed jaw and vocal tract here. So we'll go on. into the mix. So we'll just do a simple exercise. Just alternating thirds and we'll put a T on it. Let's try that. One and two and that connects our lower register to our upper register. So again, be aware of tension. If you can do this in front of a mirror uh, or even in front of your phone or a device so that you can watch yourself, that's ideal. Make sure we've got good breath energy and a nice relaxed jaw as we move up. Okay, so we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises because it reminds me, even when I'm on my own singing, that I love to sing. I love to sing. Join me and breathe. as I go up towards the upper pitch. I'm also trying to do quick efficient consonants and get that tip of the tongue right back down to the base of my lower front teeth. Let's go again. I love to sing and breathe. singers and our singing communities are out there and we want to be ready to join together with them. So keep singing. It's great for you physically, mentally, and of course vocally. We'll be ready to sing together soon. Take care.